Okay, so today we're going to learn how to create some cut out decayed looking type text just like you're seeing here using a quick and easy method. Okay, so first thing you want to do is create a new image and we're just going to create it 800 by 600 for this example. And then you want to fill the image with a grey background. So I'm just going to select the grey here, select the paint bucket tool, fill that. And then I'm going to use select a red color for the text and then select the text tool, type it in. And then I'm just going to type in the words that we want and give that a tick. Now what we want to do is just using the move tool, position the text where we want it. And then what we want to do is duplicate this text layer by dragging it down to here and then right click on the text layer and select rasterize then what we want to do is hide the below text layer and then select the eraser tool and we want to use um, a grunge brush now grunge brushes um, are available from our website in our download sections so to show you where that is, if I bring up a web page and go to our website lovetohelp.com and then click on our download section, you can download the grunge brush packs by clicking on one of these links. Okay, so to load the grunge brush pack, what you need to do is download those grunge brush packs and then unzip them and then if you right click on your Photoshop shortcut select properties you will have this button here that either says open file location or find target and then that will take you to the directory where Photoshop is installed now you need to copy the grunge brush pack into pre presets and then brushes and you can see that our grunge brush pack has been copied to here okay so and then you need to restart Photoshop of course. Now to load the brushes you need to go into the brushes, select this here and you can see the grunge brush packs are here. And then you just click on one, uh, select OK and then it will replace the brushes. If you want to load them both then select append and then you'll have both styles of brushes. Now what we want to do is we just want to select one of these brushes and I'm just going to select this brush here then click back here. Now we want the mode to be in pencil and uh, opacity at 100 and then you just sort of click using the eraser tool and the brush just on the areas that you want to erase so that it looks like it's broken off just like so. So just click in and hold in and then that will give us that damaged decayed sort of look just like you're seeing okay now what you want to do after that is you want to with that layer selected go into edit stroke and select one pixel uh, color black blending mode normal outside and opacity 100 and then just hit ok and then that will give you the traced outline damage decay look now you can go a step further and duplicate that layer then select the previous layer and then go into filter blur shape blur and now I'm using this snowflake type shape here which can be found just there and then the radius of 66 pixels now you can adjust this to how much of a blur you want and so I'm just going to probably select 120 ish and then that will give us that blurred out effect just like you're seeing here so it kind of highlights it and blurs it a bit and now that's basically it you can now publish this and then use it as a heading for your website or title page or anything like that so I hope this has been a help to you and thanks for watching